Good morning, church. Welcome to our daily devotion insight. Today, I want to share with you a devotion entitled, Look Beyond the Words to the Feelings. Look Beyond the Words to the Feelings. 1 Peter 3 verse 8 says, Sympathize with each other. Love each other as brothers and sisters. Be tender-hearted and keep a humble attitude. You know, sometimes when we relate with people, we want to help people, we want to solve people's problem. Sometimes we don't have sympathy, you know, and we don't have a humble heart to help people. Listen here, uh, when we relate, when we cooperate, when we work with each other, when we serve with each other, you know, uh, they're bound to be some misunderstanding somehow or other. Remember this, when you want to be a good listener, what people say in a conversation is not nearly, nearly as important as what they are feeling. When you work together, the words exchanged, the words said one to another, may not be what a pers the person felt in his heart or her heart. Many times, someone is saying one thing and feeling another. If you're going to be a great listener, then you need to look past people's words, even when what they are saying is offensive. Hurt people hurt people, or hurt people hurt others. And uh, words are an effective weapon that people use or people say that are very hurting. When people lash out or get defensive, it's often because they are afraid, insecure, and frustrated. And you know what? Once you recognize people may be feeling those things, it's much easier to focus on listening to what they are really trying to say. So it's much harder to be sympathetic when you think people are saying something unkind and they are just spiteful and mean. Words doesn't don't always give you the whole picture of the person or what the person is going through. You and I sometimes have to look for the open nerve and uh, a, a, a light in the heart and the life of the person. You have to look for what someone has experienced. You have to ask why this issue uh, may be a big deal to the person. You listen for the pain and understand Sometimes the pain doesn't have anything to do with you. They just speak because they're going through some difficult situation in their life. So some pain uh, is so deep, it clouds every interaction someone has. The words may just be a mask for his or pain that she, he or she is going through. Listen to... You know, learning to listen in love means looking past the things people are saying to what they might be feeling. It's very important we need to learn to look past. That's why it tells us 1 Peter 3 verse 8, Sympathize with each other, love each other as brothers and sisters, be tender-hearted and keep a humble attitude. You know, when you are humble, you are open to new ideas. When you are loving and sympathetic, you don't bite back. If people get angry with you, you know to look past their anger and ask, what are they afraid of? What are they anxious and fearful about? Why are they speaking like that? What has hurt them? And why are they edit their attitude like such as this? You know, you won't always know people well enough to figure out exactly what's pressing on their nerves. You may not be able to figure out what, you know, what's going on with their emotions. When that happens, you just have to give them the benefit of the doubt why the person speak like that, why the person behave like that, why the person's attitude is like that, why the person so unkind, why is the person so negative, why is the person so... Uh, uh, malicious and so so why is the person always finding fault why because sometimes the person who do that has hurt and the person 
who do that has some problem with their own lives. You have to choose humility and kindness over getting the last word. You have to give people grace instead of getting even or making your point. Even when faced with harsh words, a great listener always choose to love. You know, when someone hurt you, when someone offend you, whether it's intentional or unintentional, try to find out why. Try to understand why. Try to see the, the problem behind rather than getting angry and upset and hitting back and fighting back. So the question is this. What's the difference between sympathy and empathy? What's the difference? Sympathy means feelings of pity and sorrow for someone else's misfortune, hurt, pain, and struggles. That is sympathy. Empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of another. That's why, you know, when, when Peter wrote, he said he sympathized with one another. Learn to feel sorrow and pitiful of the person because the person behaved like that. Then, he says, be tender-hearted, keep a humble heart, meaning have empathy on the person. Because you know why? Learn to understand, learn to share the feeling of the other person. It is more difficult to feel sympathy or empathy for someone if you and I don't learn to look through all that is on the surface to the heart and the feeling and the attitude of the person, what the person is going through. So therefore, therefore, if you want to be a good listener, learn to listen properly and learn to see why the person is going through such things. Look beyond the words to the feelings. And that is very important to build friendship, to resolve problems, and to learn to work with one another. Amen? Let's pray. Father, we pray to help us to learn to look beyond the words that people speak to us or speak to one another and learn to understand and discern what the person is feeling and going through so that we can be a great blessing to them and to people around all this we pray. Bless us with a great day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You have a great day and God bless you.